with question number nine we will now move into section two and let me tell you the question pattern of section two is such that any question may have more than one options so let's see here there are two setup given in first setup two infinitely long line charge plus lambda plus lambda and even here two infinitely long line charge of plus lambda linear charge densities have been given at the center there are two charges q and minus q it's very distinct that both the charges are at equilibrium because here both would be repelling and here both would be attracting ultimately the net force would be zero this direction has been given as x now the question is if they are given a small displacement along x first option charges execute shm both and in the second both will move in the direction of displacement so in this way altogether we have to comment about shm and whether they would move along the displacement or not right here if you see if i displace q then it would be in the resultant field of this direction and a positive charge when a resultant field is in this direction will experience a net force in this direction indicating the equilibrium of q is stable while the equilibrium of minus q would be unstable because if i bring minus q here it would come in the resultant field of this direction and that would move against the external field so quite obviously both the charges execute shm would be incorrect because one is stable equilibrium other is unstable both the charges will move in direction of displacement that is incorrect q will execute shm minus q will move along the displacement that is correct you see that q executes oscillatory that's very clear by observation and if you calculate the net force using the value of electric field as lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r you would find that the net force on q would be directed towards the mean and that would be directly proportional to x as well provided the condition the displacement is small which is already given so option number c would be correct and if c is correct d would be incorrect as i had already said this section has questions where more than one options may be correct so you got to be very very clear but out of this we get only one correct option that is option number c now let's move to question number 10 okay now question number 10 again is from ray optics and it's from refraction refraction from spherical surface two glass rods given of radii 10 centimeter each and they have refractive indices 1.5 a point source of light p is kept 50 centimeter inside which is also specified here when a point source of light p is kept the light rays are parallel to the axis inside the second rod and we need to calculate the value of d that means finally the light rays which would emanate inside the second rod has to be parallel for that initially we can make some logical guess if the image of p formed by the first rod comes somewhere here it would be something like this and comes here then you would see in that case it cannot be parallel because it would further converge down so in this situation according to the given statement the figure would go something like this and that would go parallel and the next ray of course you can take the straight one the paraxial one having angle of incidence zero so that would be the location of i1 the image due to the first rod and this i1 would be acting as the object for the second rod so let's try to see if we go for second rod the corresponding formula would be mu2 by v minus mu1 by u is mu2 minus mu1 by r 
mu 2 being 1.5 and v would be infinity minus mu 1 being 1 and u that has to be calculated mu 2 minus mu 1 would be 0 0.5 and radius that comes out to be 10 and plus 10 owing to the sign convention you would get u as minus of 20. So, we had guessed the location of i 1 that it has to be in this side and it cannot be in this side for the given condition and mathematics is also agreeing with our fact and this distance is 20. Now, once I know the value of this distance, if I will be able to calculate this distance, then summation of these two distances would give me the value of d. So, let us go for the first rod. Again, this is 2, this is 1, mu 2 by v minus mu 1, which is 1.5 by u, that is negative of 50, is mu 2 minus of mu 1 by r, the incident ray is in this direction, so r has to be minus of 10. When you calculate this, you would get v as plus of 50, so indicating this distance is 50 cm. So, now the option is very, very crystal clear, the separation between these two, d has to be 70 cm. Again, second consecutive question where you are having only one option correct. So, that correct option is 70 cm. The option of this question number 10 would be B. Now, we will move to question number 11.